Been a hell of a ride, hasn't it? That is an understatement. You've changed so much. We both have. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, whatever happened to that guy who won your dating show? Puerto Rican Thunder God? He was sweet and all, but performance didn't live up to the name. Look, I gotta tell you something. It always drove me crazy that you had exes in every city and were willing to go on a dating show, but not once did you ever give me a shot. You never asked for one. I'm asking now. Then let's make up for lost time. I'm working on an epic sci-fi follow-up to Regicide. I'm in the research phase, but the damn Zen blew up the internet. I need you to do some legwork for me. Legwork, huh? All right. Can I help you? No. Well, yes, it's... Sorry, it's a little awkward. It's okay. Say what's on your mind. I don't know if I can. You never know if you can have something. Unless you ask for it. I don't want things to change between us. Things won't change. We're professionals. You'll see me differently. Just shut up and say it. Can you... sign my copy of your book? Sure. Here's the deal. You need me to ravage you. Uh, maybe? Don't worry. I'm fully equipped to pleasure you. So, what exactly is Enter the Dominatrix? Oh man, are we really digging that up? It was really weird. It was amazing. Worst idea we've ever had. Really? Script made no sense, like, at all. Saints Row 4 was way more elegant. Pierce seemed to like it. Of course he liked it. It started off with him as mayor of Steelport. W wait, 
If Pierce was mayor, that means Mayor Reynolds and you were... Like I said, worst idea we've ever had. My administration was tough, but fair. I'd like to think the boss based their presidential performance on me. Yeah, that didn't happen. Of course, originally they just booked me for a guest appearance, but I just chewed up the scenery so much they had to keep me. Of course, I did have to insist on several changes. Such as? Well, for instance, in ETD, that's short for Enter the Dominatrix, the Zin arrived with much fanfare, assaulting the city of Steelport. But, you know, I don't want to spoil it for you. See the mission and you'll get what I wanted to change. The Zin are surrounding us. We need to do something. We're heading out. Boss, grab a gun. Time to show Zinyak what the saints are made of. The Zin just came out. Josh and I'll take the high road. Kinsey and I'll meet you out front. Yes! To battle! Time to settle the... You're going down. Zinyak! Nailed it! boss's friend. Uh, there reason for this drama? Oh, I love this part. What is that damn thing? Stay back! I will handle this. 
this. Remembered anyway. That was so cool. Yeah, it's a shame we didn't have the budget to get it into the game. I forget. Why are we in the Gatmobile? We have to get to the mayor's office. Oh, right. Mayor Washington. Oh man. Here I come! I love this part! We're headed to Pierce's office! He found Zinyak! Pierce is mayor now because Bert died in SR3, right? Yep. But you and Mayor Reynolds were together then, right? Right, with Viola de Winter. So if Bert died in the explosion, then how did you survive? Blame the folks of Volition. They wrote this.
find out where Zinyak was? Easy. I hacked the Zen network and found out where their base was. What? Pierce is a hacker now? Soon Shandi will be hacking. Actually, I was hacking stuff back in Saints Row too. Why am I even here? More tanks on the way. Get those tanks off me! <laughs> Go, yes, this part. This was meant to be my shining moment. I mean, will you look at that health bar? Just, just, just insulting! Oh! And now they want to draw it out with these ridiculous button prompts! Yes, 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 look at you with your enormous weapon. Ooh! They really do belabor this, don't they? Okay, that's it. I've seen enough. I'm out of here.
For nearly a decade, we've watched the saints as they rose from humble beginnings to becoming an unstoppable force of nature. In that time, we've seen how the saints rose to power. We've seen how the saints enact vengeance. We've even seen how the saints united both humanity and velociraptors. But for the first time ever, I share with you their most important story yet. For this, my friends, is how the saints saved Christmas. Or what? I uh, wasn't planning on it. Come on, don't be such a Grinch. I don't even know what that means. What sort of childhood did you have? I just think there's more important things to think about than some bullshit holiday. Looks like someone never got on the nice list. Yeah, and see, that's the thing. There is no nice list. So Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Yule, Festivus? You don't care about any of it? That's right. You don't like the songs? Nope. You don't like the gift giving? I already take whatever I want. I said giving. Whatever. You don't get excited about setting up the Nightblade Nativity every year? Oh, that's slightly intriguing, but no. What about Santa? Fuck Santa! What's happening? Were we hit? No, the proximity alarm didn't go off. This is something different. Shandy? We don't have a lot of time. Claus is coming. What? Claus. A warlord from my time. Your future. By the time we learned about him, it was too late. He was too powerful. The only chance we had to stop him was to send me back here to warn you. Oh, wait. If you could go back in time, why didn't you go back even further and warn us about Xenia? Isn't that a little more important? You don't get it. This isn't about Earth. Come midnight, Christmas Day, Santa Claus is coming to town, and unless we stop him, he is going to put the universe on the naughty list. And trust me, you don't want to be on the naughty list. Sorry I asked. So Santa's evil? No, Zinyax had Santa trapped for decades, slowly but surely degrading his mind. If we don't free him soon, it'll be too late, and he'll never be jolly old Saint Nick again. Guys, this is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. All right, all right, I'll save Santa. Oh, look, another terrible fucking sweater. Thanks, Kinsey. In Santa's nightmare world, the holiday spirit doesn't exist. So if you want to bring it back, you wear whatever it takes. Real guns aren't allowed here, so we'll have to check the store and do a little holiday shopping. Also, be careful of your language around Santa. We're trying to stay on his nice list. Seriously, honey? Come on, the town department store is just ahead. Was there a crowd here? They're here for the Crimson Cowboy Carbine Action 200 Shot Range Model Air Rifle. It's just one naughty thing. You have no idea what that causes. Look. Those who are naughty look to the sky and see your doom with the naked eye. You willfully break the world's laws. Now feel the wrath of the mighty claws. Well, but. Come, come as fast as you can. You can't stop me or my gingerbread men. Evil cookies are supposed to be a threat? Whatever. Let's see this crimson cowboy do its thing. What? Claws is still too strong, and you'll shoot your eye out!
S Santa? Is it really you? I always warn children about the dangers of such toys. But why do you look so thin? The holiday spirit doesn't exist here anymore. Claus made sure of that. So, Santa, how do we stop it? Start by ringing the holiday bells in the town park. That should bring a little spirit back to the people. One's been Here. Ring the bells and then let's kill Claus. My dear Shamni, don't let your metallic parts turn your heart cold as well. Remember the holiday spirit you felt when you were younger. You know my name? Sam. I'm sorry. I had no choice but to harden myself to fight the war. I, I forgot how I used to be. Don't worry. That same girl is still inside you. In fact, I'll bet there'll be a brand new hockey sack under the tree for you this year. Thanks, Santa. I think I can make this faster. began ringing in the cheer, but more needs to be done. What all do I have to do now? There was once a theater in town that played one of the great holiday classics, but the projector was stolen and frozen in a pool by claws. Find that, and the people will remember what they love. About the holidays. We defeat him by playing a movie? It's not just a movie. It's a symbol of all that is good about this time of year. Don't worry, Santa. You can get them. Take out the guard so they don't hurt the projector when you grab it. Get it to the drive-in theater and turn on the magic of the season. It's a move. Nothing more. Oh, it's more than simply that. It creates a feeling of joy and happiness that comes with remembering the warmth this season brings to those who embrace it. I highly doubt that. Yes, now quit being a Grinch. I told the other you I don't know what that means. The holiday spirit it stings and burns, but that's not enough for the tide to turn. We brought him dead. But he's not defeated yet. The electricity just isn't enough to keep the projector working. We need more. I noticed precisely that while viewing your progress from our ship. Meet me at the clock tower and I will increase the power. It is a pleasure to meet you, Santa. Said better be here. Oh, 
top of the clock tower. Keep Cross's minions from hurting me while I set up a conductor on this antenna. How's that work? A storm is brewing. Lightning is sure to strike. <laughs> what a wonderful idea. You must be joking. Sam, do you know what happened to the North Pole? Sadly, I do. Jaws has shown me images of an attack on my workshop. My head elf, Twinkle, has even joined with him. He's the one who took my arm. I saw him, but there is hope. The rest of the elves are being led by Pinson against Jaws. His naughty forces. And Mary? <laughs> Don't worry about Mrs. Claus, Shoppy. I'm sure she can take care of herself and the North Pole until we arrive. That's good to hear. Claus gets it together. Well, then we're in serious trouble. Come up here. I need your help for this to work.
I need you to put your tongue on the pole to help conduct the electricity. The fuck you say? Not in front of Santa. Shonda, he wants to electrocute me. No. Well then, I dare you. Daring me isn't going to change things. But this has to be done. Fine. I double dog dare. You all right? Johnny, I'm not talking to you right now. The power is restored. Good luck defeating Claus. I can feel the people in town filling with cheer. Hurry, we must return to the driving. I'm glad someone believes this is going to work. The spirit's alive, but still I live. Come face me now. There's punishment to give. Don't let him fool you. We can on Dana. I got it. You are holiday here, you cannot sit. You cannot defeat Claus by doing naughty deeds, for those are what he thrives on. Claus is going up to the North Pole, and we have to stop him. Indeed, you are correct. We cannot leave Mary and the Elves to face him alone. Claus, Elves, and the North Pole. We finally get to see it before it's been destroyed. <laughs> and perhaps make sure it never is. <laughs> <laughs>